Hey everyone, I'm standing in front of a fountain in front of the Hagia Sophia and I'm going to show you where the Hippodrome used to be in this area and two interesting Roman columns there as well. And if you like this trip, please consider subscribing and at least like it. So let's continue our trip. So we, now we head over to the Hippodrome. It's only a couple minutes from here. See that beautiful fountain again in front of the Hagia Sophia. Just amazing. And you'll also notice something interesting behind it. It's a full moon tonight. So I wonder what crazy things are in store for us. So what we're going to see is what's left of the Hippodrome. So it's just going to be cobblestones. And that's it. Like the band, like the band stands that were behind it are gone. Now, I believe the columns in the middle, that's how it originally looked. From, well, over 1500 years ago. So this is the Hippodrome. So imagine the chariots racing along here. Now ahead of us is the German fountain it was donated by Germany. I guess it was to celebrate the relationship between Turkey and Germany. Okay, so it says here, the German fountain is a monument dedicated to the second visit of the Prussian king and German emperor Wilhelm II in 1898. The monument was presented in the name of Turkish-German friendship, extending its function of being a fountain with its political meaning and content. So that's a fountain right there. Now it's said it's designed is to look like an Ottoman fountain. This must have been something to watch chariot races like 1700 years ago.
So coming up ahead of us is one of the columns and it's the top third portion of an Egyptian obelisk and they brought it over in a ship like what 1700 years ago what a marvel it is to see the Egyptian hieroglyphs on it and then you're gonna see like Roman carvings like you'd see in a typical Roman statue so here you'd have one of the emperors in the middle and he'd be surrounded by his uh, upperclassmen watching the chariot races just magnificent So this inscription looks slightly different. So what's typical is that in columns, the Romans would do pictures of what they accomplished and carve them into the, the column. So this is the Egyptian portion of the obelisk. Here it says, great, Dicolet Tass 390, the obelisk of Theodosius, erected 390 AD. So, coming up are two other obelisks, or not, or two other columns. I believe this was called the Serpentine Column. And it was higher, but the section of it was broken off. Okay. Now here's something. I believe that will explain it. The serpentine, or the serpent column, is a bronze monument which is well known under the name of Serpentine Column, survived to the present day from Ro the Roman Hippodrome. While Constantine I was establishing Constantinople, the new capital of Rome, he brought some of the monumental obelisks established in order to commemorate important historical events previously and with the aim to celebrate to the Hippodrome in order to decorate the new city. One of these obelisks is the Serpent Column. Now there's other things written there, but I don't think we need to go into that. There's plenty of stuff online that you can search to find out what's written there.
there's something written on that column. It's called the Walled Obelisk. The Walled Column, also known as Walled Obelisk, is one of the three ancient monuments which has survived to the present day. In the middle of the Hippodrome, there was a sect that bisects race, space, and called as Spina in Roman period, where car racings of Constantinople were made. On this set, monumental buildings were moving here from various places. They were located at the end of the Spina. There was this column as last monument. Here's the final view inside of the walled obelisk. So if you enjoyed this trip to the Hippodrome in Istanbul, please click like and subscribe. See you in the next video.